greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Greet you for greetings. Darling, in greetings. Again, it's a privilege to be here. It's a privilege to be alive. It's a privilege to be in the presence of God and for him to see fit to give me another day to worship him. Praise God. Um, I'm greeting Deacon Wallace, uh, Brother Earl, Mother Dolly, Mother Edwards and De Overseer Edwards, Brother Patrick, Pastor Shirley, I greet you all again in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, without further ado, brethren, I'm going to hand over to Mother Dolly, Mother Dolly the brethren, God bless you. Good evening, Patreon. Bless you, Dolly. God bless you. Bless you. Um, I'm giving God thanks for allowing us to come together one more time in his presence. I want to give honor to the Spirit of God and greet our um, oversight in minister, um, overseer Edward, um, Elder Grant, um, Elder Thompson isn't here, I believe, but I want to give God thanks for God, Deacon Wallace, um, um, Brother Patrick, and all the, all the ministers. Uh, praise God. And I want to give God thanks also for the brethren. Each and every one is welcome in the presence of God, and we're here this evening. Can you Sorry, Mother you... Dolly, I'm going to have to mute um, Mother Edwards and some of our other brethren. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, it's done. Praise God. So I greet you all in the wonderful and matchless name of Jesus. Praise God. Um, I do have a scripture, but I would not read it yet. I would like... Um, our Deacon Wallace to open up in prayer for us, if he wouldn't mind. Deacon? Yes? Yeah. I'd like you to open in prayer, please. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, you're right. This is a blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Say what a foretaste of glory divine. Say the years of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, and we washed in his blood. Eternal God and our Father, walk in heaven. We thank you for another day within our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you have spared us to see the breaking of another day. We thank you, Lord, that you have lifted us up this morning. And here we are this evening, Lord, coming before you. Lord, as a reasonable service toward you, each choose the Lord come before you and to give thanks unto you for what you have done for us each day. And because of your grace and mercy towards us, here we are just telling you thanks for the privilege, oh God, to be a part of this blessed privilege and this opportunity. We thank you at this moment, Lord, for each and every one that have made the effort to join us, oh God, at this present time to give thanks unto you and to ask you. Lord, as you show us mercy, then therefore, Lord, we will continue to look towards you for the goodness of your love towards us. So right now, Lord, we'll honor you and we adore you, Lord. And for each and every one of us that taking part this evening, please bless God, protect and strength. Even our mother at this present time, Mother Dolly, Lord, who is the mother rating of this service, Lord, I pray that you will grant her strength. Lord, I grant her that she will be able to continue to look towards you, Lord, and to know that by your eternal grace and mercy, and Lord, whatsoever she would say, she will receive honor from you and glory from you that she will be able to do that which she will do. Please strengthen her, Lord, and guide her. Strengthen the family, oh God, and strengthen 
each and every one. Strength those that is on listening at this present time, Lord. We ask you in the name of Jesus for your protection one more time. Lord, as we we'll continue to say thank you for what you have done for us, especially for this day you have given unto us, Lord, that which we never promised, but Lord, you see it fit to wake us up this morning. And here we are coming to you to say thank you. Please bless God, protect and strengthen us for one more evening. <clears throat> Lord, as we look to you in the glory of God, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Um, amen. I hope I don't lose it. Oh dear. Are you okay, Mother Dolly, for now? Okay, um, I'll just carry on. Yes. Um, right. I've got a scripture. Um, and, well, those who have the Bible, and it's taken from Luke chapter 13, verses 11 to 17. Have you found it? Luke chapter 13. Yeah, verse 11 to 17. Okay. Yes, 11 to 17. I'm just getting it now. This, I don't know what happened to this. I might have to, to turn off and come back on. Uh, okay. I might have to turn off and come back on. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on. All right then. The adversary is trying. I found this scripture. What did you say, verse 11 to 17? Yeah. He answereth the saith, and saith. No. Um, shall I read it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It says, and behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said, and said unto her, woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. And, and he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And verse 14, and the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, there are six days in which men ought to work, work in them therefore come and be healed and not on the sabbath day and the lord then answered him and said thou hypocrite doth not each one of you on the sabbath lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering and ought not this woman being a daughter of abraham whom Satan had bound, lo, these 18 years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day. And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Praise God. Um, when I was looking at this scripture, can you hear me? Yes. 
Right. Yes. Okay. When I was looking at the scripture, um, I was, it's more or less like reiterating what Brother Earl had spoken to us. So um, I want to, to go back here in verse, verse 12. The Bible says, and when Jesus saw her, you know, so Jesus has got eyes to see. Um, you know, God has eyes everywhere. So the Bible says, and when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. You see, so every day this woman, she was going to the, the synagogue and you know, she was she was bowed over. She had this infirmity, and she she was more or less looking downwards. She couldn't see the the beautiful sky, the birds. She didn't, you know, she couldn't see the smile, uh, praise God, on the people's faces. She was a very perhaps sad and lonely woman, but uh, hallelujah. But the Bible says that Jesus, you know, Jesus saw her. Many people saw her, glory be to God, and nobody could help this poor woman. But you see, when Jesus looked every day, perhaps every um, Sabbath, she probably was going to the synagogue, but Jesus saw her and he decided to do something. He said, she's a daughter of Abraham and she must be loosed from this um, infirmity. And when Jesus stopped by anywhere, it makes, it makes a difference, you see. And um, I'll carry on a little bit. It says, and he laid, verse 13 says, and he, Jesus, laid his hands. Jesus got hands. We saw Jesus got eyes. Now we see he's got hand. And he laid his hands on her. And immediately, not, not um, you know, a day or two or whatever the Bible says. And immediately she was made straight. You remember she was bowed over. She was bent, you know. And now Jesus, when he you know, stop by the Bible say, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. So she was, she showed that she was very thankful and whatever situation we're in, we got to glorify God and be mm -hmm. thankful because this woman, I'm sure after suffering for so many years, 18 years, the Bible say it was a very long time, but Jesus did something for her and she glorified God. Now, verse 14 says, and the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation. He was very, very angry because of what Jesus had done. He healed on the Sabbath, which was something the Jews don't, you know, they're supposed to keep Sabbath. But, but Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath and said unto the people, they, 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 this is the, um, the um, Pharisee here, there are six days, he said, in which men ought to work in them, therefore come and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. So you see, whatever you're going to do, there is an opposition, there is an adversary that we are coming against. Every good thing is something bad for the devil. You know, he doesn't like anything good. The opposite of good, we have to say, is bad or evil. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath day, Sabbath loose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering. You see, and we learn about water. Water is like life given. And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound a Satan who had bound this woman 
and lo, these 18 years be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day. And when he had said these things, all his adversaries, they were ashamed. Praise God. And we, we should put the devil to shame. Praise God. Because of all the evil things that he does. Because Jesus is greater. The Bible says, you know, Jesus is greater than the devil. And therefore, we are not to be afraid of what the enemy will, will do. But we can continually give praise to our God because God is able to do far more than we can ask or think. And all the people rejoice. The Bible says all the people rejoice. We should have rejoicing for all the glorious things that were done by him. Praise God. And God has done much for us. The, you know, the Lord has um, delivered us from sin. He's forgiven us of our iniquities and so forth. So this evening, we have a right to give God thanks. Praise God. And, um, and just to remind us again that God, has, he can see, you know, he sees even hidden things God sees. He's the um, omnipresent God. He, you know, he's everywhere. So let us take courage and continue to look to the author and finisher of our faith. Praise God. So at this time, um, I will call on Brother Earl to pray, to pray for the church. Praise God. To pray for, you know, the brethren, the families and so forth as the Lord will guide him. God bless you all. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for your great love and mercies towards us. Another day, you've blessed us to behold. We thank you for our gathering tonight, not just to see each other, but primarily to direct our prayers to the hills from when to come to our help. And we thank you tonight that you are our refuge and our strength. And you are a very present help in the time of trouble. And in the time of the least, this woman's trouble, after 18 years, you came to help her. And sometimes, Lord, as we gather, we are going through so many troubles because if one suffer, all suffer. And we put every brethren, every household, every family, oh God, every mother, every father, every sister, oh God, and every situation before you, for you said we should cast all our cares upon you. We thank you tonight that what we face, as Agar said, thou Lord, seest me. And we thank you tonight that your eyes go to and fro the earth and you behold the good and the evil. We thank you for even Mother Dolly, Sister Sandra, Sister Pam, Sister Navela, Sister Dell, and others who are going through various things. But Lord, we thank you that your eyes see everything that we're going through. Sometimes we feel it's only us going through things. Even though we're here, we thank you today that, oh God, you even spared his life to see another day. And even at this moment, even Brother Leroy, who's not in the midst of us, oh God, he's going through something. But we thank you tonight that thou seest. And as your son, oh God, he saw this woman. Lord, she was bowed over. For 18 years, she could not straighten herself because of the situation and the infirmities that was in her physical house. But you had compassion on her. And you said, woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Lord, there are those like the Habisari who don't want us to be straight, who don't want us to be healed. And even when you plan to heal us, all some folks can do is find fault and criticize. And we pray against those spirit, the tongues of the heathen that rage 
and rise up against all of us. The question is asked concerning even each of us as individual and even us as a church. Why does the heathen rage? And why does the people imagine a vain thing? Sometimes the question is asked, oh God, against us. And yet those who are asking the question, we are the ones that are praying for them. But we pray for a straight back, oh God. Lead us in a straight path. As the prophet, your word said, wherever your spirit went, they went and they went straight forward. And Lord, only you know the circumstances and situation we face that all these situations are here to cause us to bow over. Some of us could be so bowed over that we haven't got time to pray. But we thank you tonight that you've given us a straight back, that though the enemy come in like a flood, your spirit lift a standard that will not bow our heads like a bulrush, but we lift up our heads like you told the everlasting gates to be lifted up. And we pray tonight that you lift us all up above the circumstances that we're facing, above the infirmities that we may have that's trying to cause us to be bowed over. And we pray that you speak into our homes, into our hearts and into our spirit tonight. Let the words of your son lead the pages of this book that we've read tonight and enters into our homes, our hearts, our bodies, our minds, our souls and our spirit, where he said, woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. We pray for even Elizabeth, who, oh God, her precious eye. We pray even for our overseer Byfield. We pray even for all the brethren, those who are sick. You said that we should call the elders. And tonight we're not waiting to be called, but those who are sick, we pray that you loose them from their infirmities in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We pray for the attack against our minds in the twilight hours when it's just us on our own and our meditation wanders into the wilderness, into deserts, where the question is asked, does Jesus care? But we pray that you straighten our backs tonight to understand, oh, yes, he cares. We pray that you will uphold us by your free spirit. We pray for the spirit of liberty because your son came to set the captives free. We even pray for our children that are held captive by the adversary in so many ways. We pray that you loose them from this infirmity. Oh God, sometimes the infirmities that we have are not for one year, not for two years, but oh God, they can be upon us for 18 years. Oh God, and we remember the woman, oh God, who went to the doctor because she had an issue. And she spent all that she had on doctors oh. because she wanted to get well, Lord. But, oh God, we pray that you'll grant us faith tonight to believe that that which we have, we have read tonight about being loose from infirmity, we pray that you'll loose us from every infirmity. Someone yeah. said that Christ can break every fetter. There is nothing impossible with thee, Lord. And even from our children to our, our grandparents, and to our relatives and neighbors, we pray for the spirit of deliverance. We pray for deliverance from the captivities of the vanities of our minds. We pray for deliverance from the adversary who speaks to us with an onslaught like a flood. But once again, we pray for those whom the adversary is whispering to. Oh God, your word said that with his tail he doeth, he, do, he drew a third part of the heavens, Lord. But we pray tonight that behind our prayer meetings, behind our church service, behind the Bible study, behind the prayer meetings, Lord, the adversary is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But we pray for the church tonight. We pray for every member, even of the Gospel Outreach Ministry, who's part of the body of your son, Jesus Christ. And even for those, your son said, I pray for those who shall believe on me through their word. We pray for those brethren that are our brethren, whom we know not, because Abraham has children that he does not know. Therefore, we pray for our brethren from one corner of the earth to the other that are going through situations. Some of them have been going through for 18 years, and there's been no change. There's been no straightening. But in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we'll, we pray tonight that you send forth your spirit 
to wherever they are and wherever we are and every infirmity, oh God, on this our Sabbath day, because our Sabbath day, Lord, may not be just for one day of the week, but our Sabbath day could be the period of time to which we are bound and trapped with these adversities and infirmities that we have. But we pray that you will echo in the eternal realms and that you will speak. Lord, your words will not return unto your void. It shall accomplish that which you sent forth it to do. And it was you, O oh God, who said, let there be. It was you who commanded the light to shine in darkness. It was you that said, let the waters bring forth every living creature. It was you who said, let dry land appear. It is you that created the greater and the lesser light, and you also created the stars. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by your word. And therefore, we're asking you to speak tonight on our behalf just like how Christ stood up for the defense of this woman who was bowed over and he spoke and made the adversaries ashamed that rejoicing can take place. We pray for our fellowship. We pray for our homes. We pray for those who trust you. Let not those of us who trust you with all our hearts, all our soul and all our strength be ashamed in any wise. But in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will speak into the atmosphere. You will speak into our homes. You speak into our workplaces, you speak into our hearts, you speak into our minds and you speak into our soul. Because when we speak, that's one thing, it is written, Lord, that one plant, one water, but you give the increase. Lord, one of us can speak, another one can speak, but there is no increase until you speak. Therefore, we ask you finally tonight in the name of Jesus, that you will speak tonight in us and through us and over us those words of your son, woman thou art loose from thine infirmity speak and let your words take on flesh lord so that our words are not just multiplication of words and we're not just praying because it's what we do lord no it's not just what we do lord you command us that we should pray and we should not faint and we pray against for every spirit that wants us to faint want us to give up wanting mm -hmm. to throw the towel we pray in the name of jesus that you'll strengthen that even the feeble knees that hang down Lord, that by faith we will look to the hills from whence come to have. You are our refuge and our strength. You are our hiding place. You are our pavilion. You are our eye tower. And therefore we commit the keeping of our souls and our bodies and our minds into your hand. And we only ask this in Jesus' name, to your honor and to your glory and to your praise. Let the church say amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Blessed be God. Thank God for you. Um, praise God. At this time, I would like to ask Sister Dell, if she's available, um, to pray for the salvation of our loved ones. Praise God. Sister Dell? Sister Dell? Hello, Mother Dawn. Uh, I would like you to pray for the salvation of all loved ones. Praise okay. God. As the Lord will guide you. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you, oh God, for this hour of prayer that our hearts lowly bend and we gather to you who is our savior and friend. And if we come to you in faith, your protection to share. And what a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Tonight, Lord, as we come before you one more time, we give a thanks for strength for next Tuesday. You have lended to us. We give a thanks for your mercies that still endured forever. We give you thanks, dear God, to know that you're the God who is not tired of hearing our hearts cry. You are the God of the ages, and great is your faithfulness. There is no shadow of turning from you. You change us not, your compassion they feel not. And as you have been, you will forever will be. We know that you still care for us, Lord, in spite of the storm. 
in spite of the hard takes, dear God, we can still cry, Abba, Father. We give a thanks to all the virgin that are here tonight, Lord, and some that are absent. We give a thanks for strength, Lord. It is not easy, but your grace is sufficient. Thank you, O oh God, for your love. The love that you have for us is past finding out. And we just want to give a thanks for everything that's already gone, Lord. We give a thanks for the prayers that already gone. I know that you're here. And you have a set time, Lord, to answer. All we have to do is just wait. Because every one of us have an appointed time. So we'll wait until our change come. Thank you for everything. Oh God, there are so many things going on. And so many things will continue to happen. But we know that you promised to hide our soul in the cleft of the rock. And you cover us there with your divine hand. It is not easy, Lord. But we know your grace is with us. My God, as I've been half to pray for our loved ones. Oh God, when we look at our loved ones, dear God. It's not easy at times, Lord. But per per is the key. That's why your word mentioned that we are to pray without ceasing. And the fervent effectual prayer for righteous man avail it much. My God, it's not easy. But thank you that you give us the weapon of prayer. And we can pray, Lord, whatever condition, whatever situation, Lord, we can call unto you your promise to hear and answer prayer. My God, when we think about our loved ones, oh God, and what the devil can show them. But we know that our prayer has been keeping them. We pray, oh God, that your whisper, that you speak to their heart. We cannot follow them wherever they are going, dear God. Especially, Lord, having our children and they're grown. And when they reach certain age, Lord, they become adult as they hit 18. They get the right from the government, Lord, to sign their own signature. But in the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray that you will speak to the heart, Lord. Oh God, sometimes we don't know what they are thinking about, what they are planning to do. And when they reach age, Lord, we can't stop them. We only have to encourage, but prayer go a long way. And right now, Lord, I put them before you, our loved ones, my God. We put them before you right now, Lord, that you will touch. There's nothing hard what you can't do. Oh God, it doesn't matter how hard the situation is. You speak your word and things came into being. You are the same God. We only, oh God, can pray because the Bible says one plant and one do the watering and you are the God who do the increase. And all we are doing now, Lord, we are praying and we come in agreement, oh God, for our loved ones that you will move upon them wherever they are. My God, we don't want anything bad to happen to them. So that's why we are praying that you touch them, that you work on their heart. My God, there's nothing hard what you can't do. You specialize in things that seems hard, that seems impossible. Oh God, you are the God I heard in the prayer a while ago that you are the God who can break every fetters. It doesn't matter how the situation is, Lord. You can break it because you come to seek and to save that which was lost. So I pray right now, oh God, that you whisper to their hearts, our loved ones. I can call out everyone's name, Lord. But you know each and every one of our loved ones. My God, I put them before you. That you will touch them. That you will strengthen them. That you will deliver them. 
Some of them may be tangled up in some kind of situation that we don't know. But you are the God who can break every fetters. Oh God, as we heard on Sunday about Joel, he's one of our loved ones. I pray right now, oh God, that you're touching wherever he is. It is not easy, a young man, have a young wife and young children, my God. But in the name of Jesus, we ask you, dear God, that you will counteract the illness that is in his body. This woman that has been healed for 18 years, and you have a set time for everything. And when you look at the woman, Lord, you call her and you deliver her. You are the same God. You don't change. We hear Brother Pat always said that your faithfulness is great. And right now, Lord, I put him before you. He's a wonderful loved one. I pray, oh God, that you counteract the illness that is in his body, that you will deliver him, Lord, and set him free, that you burn out that kind of illness, dear God, because you are the greater young. God of Elijah, God of Abraham, God of Daniel, God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Lord. the God that don't sleep, the God that don't slumber, the God that is alive and well, the God that remains the same today and forever. You are the God we're calling upon. At your touch, this young man, we have pray his dear God. Deliver him and set him free. Glory to God. You are the God of the ages. You are the I am that I am. You are the great. There is no God before you. There is none after you. There is none beside you. You are God by yourself. So I, I am depending on you. That you deliver him. And set him free. That the parents said, they can rejoice, Lord. And we, the virgin behind, can rejoice. Thank you. God, we give the thanks in advance. We hallow your name. We adore you. Lord, you teach us this prayer to pray that you are our Father in heaven mm -hmm. and hallowed is your name. And your kingdom come. You will deliver us from all evil. You promise to protect us. So that's why we're calling unto you, Lord. You love when we call you. Because it's a form of acknowledge who you are. We know, Lord, you know your situation here and hurt. But when we call you, Lord, you promise to answer. And to show great and mighty things that we know not of. Remember our loved ones, dear God. It is not easy. Oh God, but we passed through a few weeks ago with one of our loved ones that passed away. It hit us so badly. But thank you for strength that you have given us until now and the parents. Thank you, Lord. I could be able to see Brother Pat on the platform. Thank you for him. Oh God, it's not easy. Oh God, it's a charming touch and strengthen. Oh God, and remember the siblings. It's all our loved ones. God, thank you for your mercies that still endure it forever. Because you promised, Lord, to keep us forever. Your promise forever is not for a day, it is forever. So we give a thanks, Lord that you remember i'm not beating hope around the bush lord remember lord our loved ones before time is too late god i'm depending on you i have children lord and i pray for them that you will touch their heart that they will give over my god Speak to their heart, Lord, that they know they own their refuge, their own the security is in you, my God. 
touch. Oh God, the loved ones touch the brethren children. My God, remember them wherever they are. Remember them, Lord. Remember them, grandchildren. Remember them. The adversary, dear God, is like a roaring lion and is seeking whom he may devour. But God, we know that prayer go a long way. Thank you. Thank you, dear God, that we have this privilege. It is a privilege, Lord. We can call on you at any time, wherever we are, Lord. You're dear to hear. And sometimes, Lord, we don't know, oh God, but the Spirit of God will speak to our heart and tell us to pray for such a person. Thank you for the divine spirit. Thank you for the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth that directs us into all truth. We give the thanks, dear God, the comforter that you have prayed for, that dwell among us. Thank you. We hallow your name. Touch and strengthen, dear God. Deliver, set free. Oh God, so many sickness around us, dear God. But in the meantime, we pray for comforting of the heart. You won't give us more than what we cannot bear. So dear times, condition come upon us, Lord. You are dear with us, Lord, because you have a way to ease the situation. Thank you to know that you're an understanding God and you're a God that cares. Bless us one more time, dear God, and help us to continue, continuously to keep on, keeping on praying for our loved ones because you're here and your hands of her. Thank you for Mother Dear Lord, that you continue to strengthen her as she moderate this platform, dear God, this prayer meeting. My God, that you will continue to uphold her, that you always give her a word, dear God, and help her not to get weary in well doing. Anoint her again, Lord, because your anointing makes a difference. Bless and strengthen each and every one of us tonight, Lord. I leave things in your hand. Remember, Sister Sandra, dear God, that you continue to cover her under your blood, either where the devil cannot do her any harm. Bless each and every one again, Lord, and those that have sent. My God, strengthen, deliver, set free. You know everything, Lord, and you know how to do it. So I place it here on the altar that you will do it for us. Bless and strengthen this mercy do we have. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for the prayer. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Um, at this time, I'd ask her, um, Sister Navlin, if she can put all her elders uh, before the Lord, because the adversary, he, if we can get the strong ones, the, the ones in the forefront, then, you know, it's like bread for the rest. But in the name of Jesus, we, I pray that she would pray that God will strengthen and uphold our elders. Praise God. Sister Nav. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. What a friend. What a precious friend. So complete and so divine. Oh, God, Lord, if we should walk this wild world over, oh, God, there is none other that we can find. Father, our heavenly Father, our heavenly Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. We give you thanks tonight, Lord, that your kingdom already come, 
it has been done in earth and so it is in heaven. Oh God, Lord, we come tonight, Lord, that you may continue, Lord, to give us your daily bread and to lead, oh God Almighty, your elders, oh God, in the right path because of your righteousness sake, because thine is your kingdom, the power and your glory, Lord Jesus, forever and ever shall be. Father, oh God, I bow my spirit another choose the healing before thee. Nothing in so our hands can bring to you, but simple to the cross we are clinging. Father Jesus, I commend all your elders into your hand because your hands are so wide, you're well able to succor them. Father Jesus, you know all of them by name and by nature, oh God. Lord, I present, oh God, Overseer Edward before you. Father God, I present Elder Tamsil before you. Deacon Wallace before you, Lord. Elder Grant before you. Pastor Shirley before you, Lord. Sister Pamela before you. Mother Dolly before you. Mother Edwards, oh God, Deacon Francis, oh God. Sister Pamela, Heavenly Father, and even Lord Jesus Secretary, Sister Charmaine, Sister Sandra, they are the fourth fronts, dear God. Heavenly Father, you know our hearts, oh God. You see my hearts, dear God, oh sad it is. Oh God, even today, thinking about the ministers, thinking about the condition that the wicked one want to impose upon us. But, oh God Almighty, we know, oh God, that you live it. We know, oh God, that there is nothing that you cannot do. We know, Heavenly Father, that when we cry before you and we put our leaders before you, dear God, you will hear from heaven. Just when, oh God, David cried unto you and the rest of the people, dear God, you come down in the cloud and great wrath, oh God, was with you. Father Jesus, you see and you know them, oh God, by name and by nature. Loving God, the wicked one want to destroy, but we give you thanks tonight, dear God, you come to give life and more abundance. We give you thanks, dear God, for you have been gone on before them, Lord. Oh God, in behalf of them tonight, and there is nothing hard that you cannot do. There is nothing, oh God Almighty, we can tell you that you cannot do, Lord. And because God, we don't have to shout, we don't have to cut ourselves up, dear God. But Lord, our hearts are crying before you tonight in behalf of our leaders, dear God. I pray in the name of the Father, O oh God, the Son of the Holy Ghost, the God that giveth life, O oh God. Because Jesus, the word of God said that they have, O oh God, this vessel, O oh God, this treasure in earth and vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us, not even the wicked one. I ask, dear God, that will cover them right now. You will comfort their hearts and at that time, dear God. Lord, as they enter into battle, I pray, dear God Almighty, you will shield them from the wicked one, oh God, because they only come to kill, to destroy, Oh God, but Lord, we thank you this morning, tonight, Lord, that with the blast of your nostril, eternal God, you can flee the adversary away. And I pray this night, dear Father, that you uphold, oh God, even Elder Hurl at this time, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you may continue to stand, oh God, as you said, oh God, Almighty, will cover your people. Oh God, with perfect peace because their mind stayed upon you. Remember, Elder Hurl, that this time, sudden news, oh God, I pray thee. But God Almighty, there is no secret that you cannot do. And because we understand, oh God, because of one man disobedience, oh God Almighty, sin, oh God Almighty, linger in this world. But we give it thanks, oh God, that your grace is able to keep him, oh God, from falling. We pray tonight, dear Jesus, 
that will continue to bless and strengthen Elder Grant tonight, comfort his hearts, his wife another time, oh God, and his sibling another time, dear God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray, oh God, to your Holy Spirit, Lord, oh God, as you take off, oh God, almighty, even of Moses, and you rest upon the 70 elders. Heavenly Father, we pray, dear God, that we lay your Holy Spirit upon them right now, that they may be able to stand, dear God, and Lord, to know that someone is praying for them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, because by the name of Jesus, every demon have to bow, every condition have to bow, that Jesus Christ is Lord. I pray that God will comfort his heart right now, hunting to build a fence around them, oh God, as they become as twain, oh God, Elder Grant and Pastor Shirley, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we're not going to stop praying, oh God, until the breaking of day. And this Monday night, dear Father, we know, oh God, that Lord, there's nothing hard and there's nothing impossible that you cannot do for them, dear God. Remember them tonight as I put them before you. In the name of Jesus, I pray thee. Heavenly Father, oh God, remember overseeing at the time and Mother Edwards. Father God, you know them by name and by nature, dear God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you remain God, and beside you there is none other. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you is a lighthouse, you is a life giver, dear God, you is a great physician. Praise be to your name, dear God. And we give you thanks tonight, Lord, that we don't have to book an appointment to speak to you, dear God. Any minute and a hour, Lord, we could call upon your name, dear Father. Oh God, and that's what, oh God, the leader has done. Praise be to your name, O oh God, even when Israel, O oh God Almighty, begin to revolt against Moses and Aaron. O oh God Almighty, say you bring us out of Egypt. And what is, O oh God Almighty, the honey, O oh God Almighty, you have to give to me. And when they begin to show stone, the Bible said they felt on their faces loving God, and you came down in a pillar of cloud, oh God, and you spoke on their behalf and deliver them. We deliver what did, oh God, our elders tonight, dear Father, from the wicked hands of the dragon. Oh God, I do not even like to call his name, that you think, oh God, into something, dear God, what I pray this night, dear Father, Oh God Almighty, you will cover them another time. Oh God Almighty, the sun, oh God, may not scorn them, nor the wind take them out, dear Father. But God, your Holy Spirit, Lord, oh God, we continue to comfort them and to strengthen them from day to day, oh God, because you're the bomb in Gilead. Remember your, your heathers them tonight. Oh God, Deacon Francis and Sister Sherman, we put them again before you, dear Father. Oh God, because you is their refuge, you are their strength, oh God, in the time of trouble. Loving God Almighty, the Bible said Jesus wept. Oh God Almighty, not only just wept because Lazarus died, but oh God, because of unbelief and because of the condition, oh God. And Lord Jesus, oh God, we give you thanks, dear God, that Lord, you cause us, oh God, in spite of that may hear and what may happen, oh God, we ask you, Lord, that we may continue, dear Father, to seek you, Lord, and to study within our heart. If we can just touch the hem of our of your garment, yes. that only we shall be made whole, but God, we shall be delivered. Oh God, from the wicked one, dear Father. Remember, oh God, mighty Deacon Francis, even tonight, and Sister Charmaine, as we place them before you. In the name of Jesus, no other name, but in the name of Jesus, I pray thee. Father God Almighty, death could not hold you. Oh God Almighty, Lord Jesus, hungry could not hold you. Provocation could not hold you, dear Father. Mm. Oh God, your triumph, oh God Almighty, on the cross. Your triumph, oh God Almighty, in the grave, oh God. And it's a mm. death is your sting, and the grave is your victory. Yeah. So tonight, dear Father, we're calling upon your name, Jesus, because Heavenly Father, there is a cause. Oh God, there is trouble, dear Father. There is concern, Heavenly Father. Oh God, Jehovah, we call upon your name tonight. Oh God, we break down every fetters of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I pray thee. Glory to God in the highest, Lord. 
Oh God, this woman will come to you, Lord. We must come with assurance. We must come and to know that, oh God, it's not that we just have a bowl of porridge and we belly is full, dear God. But Lord Jesus, there is condition. There is trouble. So God Almighty is around us. And that's why you say we may come, come believe. Come with our hearts open. Come, oh God Almighty, crying before you, oh God, because Lord, it's not a fairy story. It is real, dear God. Even as the wicked one we heard, so, oh God, came, oh God Almighty, in America and went into the school, oh God, and take out all many innocent life. Blessed be okay. God, it is real, oh God and Father. <laughs> so tonight, oh God, I put all the elders before you. In the name of Jesus, blessed be God. Word of God, the Lord, that, oh God, if the adversary can, de, oh God, destroy, oh God, the leaders, oh God Almighty, then surely, Lord, any sheep will be scattered. But God, we're going to thank you tonight. So you said, oh God Almighty, to you. Father, that only one heavenly father that have been lost, oh God, this is Judas, oh God, but the rest you have kept. So, so I'm asking to keep our leaders. We ask you, dear Jesus, to cover them, oh God, to shield them, dear God, I pray thee from the sword, oh God, from the arrow that fly by night and by day, oh God. In the name of Jesus, there is a cause, oh God, there's a concern that we have to be alert. We have to have our sword, oh God, at all times, oh God Almighty, in our side. Oh, blessed be God to cut and to destroy, just like Peter. Blessed be God because he was ready, oh God, to devour the wicked one. So this night, dear Father, we calling upon your name, Jesus, thou son of the living God. Lord Jesus, only just few of us, dear Father, but God Almighty oh, can be able for us to multiply. So therefore, Lord, remember our leaders this night, dear Jesus. Mm -hmm. Son of the living God, gospel outreach ministry. We put them before you tonight, dear Father. Oh God, you said together we stand, but divided we fall, dear God. Remember our elders. Remember, oh God Almighty, Elder Thompson, Sister Sonia. Loving God, as I lock them together because they become as one as twain. We pray tonight, Jesus, that we'll hold them, that you will cover them. You will ease their troubled minds. Oh God, we help them to know, oh God, that you are not a God that slumber in our sleep. Loving God Almighty, and you will always be there to keep them through, oh God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Ghost, Heavenly Father, the wicked one to show up himself in our houses, oh God, in our church, oh God Almighty Lord, no reverence, no respect, he tempted you and said, if you have God, oh God Almighty, cause this stone to make bread, but Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth mm -hmm. out of the mouth of God. And so therefore tonight, Jesus, we call upon your name because there's a cause. Our heart is troubled. Our hearts are sad. Oh, God Almighty, but Jesus, we thank you that you is a comforter, oh God. Your promise, Lord, you will never leave them, neither will you forsake them, dear Father. And as we as church of brethren, as we join hearts together to pray for our elders, Lord, we know, dear God, that you will hear. We know that you will scatter, oh God. We know that you can save soul, oh God. Lord, you will know that you can drop every condition, Blessed be God, by the breath of your nostril, you can drop every condition, Lord, as we begin to pray earnestly, Lord. Oh God, because you said that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. We place even Sister Pam before you and Sister Sandra. Heavenly Father, thou seest and thou knowest their ways. They are, they are going out and they are coming in, oh God. Lord, yes, they are handling your word. They are calling upon your name. They are encouraging the brethren. Oh, Oh God, they're in the temple serving their father. So I'm asking you, Jesus, to remember them. Oh God Almighty, Eva's as Nehemiah would reminded you, Lord, remember that the good that you have done, oh God, to all your people. So tonight we remind you to remember your, your leaders, oh God, even the pandemic, dear Father, they was faithful for us. Oh God, they feed us, oh God, with manner from above that we can able to stand eventually, Father. So tonight, dear God, remember your leaders, oh God Almighty, we pray that 
that we bless them, that you will cover them. Oh God, we set an edge around them. You sent your angel to watch over them. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, for you are the great I am. Remember Mother Dolly, oh God, and even her husband, Mr. Chitoli. Heavenly Father, we put them again before you in the name of Jesus. You are the rock of all ages and you are the shelter in the time of storm. Oh God, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you said you've gone and to prepare a place for us so that where you will, there will be also. We pray tonight, Father, oh God, God, it may not cast away their confidence, which have great recompense of reward, Lord. And so tonight, Jesus, we have no other help there, God, but to you, Lord, we cry, Lord. We cry to you tonight, Jesus, because there's a need there, God. We ask you, Jesus, to remember them. We ask you, God, to comfort their hearts at this time. We place all their children before you another time, Jesus, thou son of the living God. Lord, God, I might just say, wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness in high places, dear God. And we know, Heavenly Father, that there is nothing hard you cannot do, oh God. And that's why, Lord, you give us, oh God, Lord, a sword, oh God, is the word of God to put on every stronghold, God. Remember them another time, oh God, while others are calling upon you, Lord, remember them, I pray mm -hmm. thee, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Remember Deacon Wallace, a faithful, oh God, Deacon. Father God, we put them before you. Oh mm -hmm. God, thou art the son of the living God. Praise be to your name, Lord. You never stop working, dear Father. You're always on time, dear Jesus. And Father, we thank you. Oh God Almighty, have you send the rain upon the earth? Oh God, many you send the rain, oh God, and the rain become a curse to them because many of them have been drowned, oh God, because you know their hearts are oh, wicked. Oh God Almighty, Lord Jesus, there's no sympathy, oh God, toward your people. There's no empathy. And Father, some, oh God Almighty, Lord Jesus, is going to cut them. Them. Oh God, I might because they are so wicked in their hearts. And that's why David said he ate such a one God enemy with a perfect hatred. And therefore, their father will put the enemy before you, dear God, who will want to destroy our leaders. I pray in the name of Jesus that God, you said vengeance is yours, oh God, and you will recompense. I pray, dear God, will let their way, oh God, be brought in. Loving God Almighty, Lord Jesus, their steps, oh God Almighty. Lord Jesus, it will become as a bridge of a troublous water. Loving God Almighty, when the wicked one would thought they would fall, we know that you will rise them up, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we cry to you tonight because there's a cause and there's a need. Many of our ministers, their hearts are sad, but God, we know Jesus, there will be sunshine again, Lord. Oh God, the sun will shine again, Lord. Oh God, the fig tree will come again, Lord Jesus. They will be blossom again. In the name of Jesus, Father, we call upon your name, oh God, because it is real. It is not a fairy story, Lord. We call upon your name because you is God. Remember all our leaders, we place them before you as they go to battle. Loving God, we pray dear God, Lord, that your son, Jesus Christ, his blood may continue to stamp upon the lintel of their hearts. Loving God, that when they go out, Lord Jesus, loving God, they have bright lights. Loving God, that Lord, just enemy cannot touch them, dear God, because they're covered under your blood. You are our refuge, Lord. Use our strength, heavenly Father. Use our deliverer, dear Father. I could understand when they cried unto you, Lord, because there was a cause. We asked Nehemiah, we asked, oh God, I might Ezekiah, because there was a cause when, oh God, Sennacherib wanted to take and invade the land. Loving God, they get down into sackcloth and ashes, and they cried unto you, Jesus, and you heard heavenly Father. I am not here to exalt myself, but I'm here to cry before you tonight because there is a cause, oh God Almighty, so Jesus, thou son of the living God, your blood did not spill on Calvary for nothing. Mm. Your tears did not spill for nothing. No, the mocking did not spill for nothing. Mm -hmm. The jerking did not spill for nothing, Lord. The many strike did not build for nothing, Jesus. 
Jesus. So this tonight, Lord Jesus, remember this track that you've done for Elder Grant. This yeah, track yeah. you've done for, oh God Almighty, Overseer. This track that you've done, oh God, with deep and grace. Glory to God in the highest. Mm -hmm. I said, Jesus, the Son of the living God, I'm asking you tonight, Jesus. You Thank said, you. we must ask and it shall be given. You yeah. said, we shall seek and you shall find. Just, Glory to God, it is real, Lord. I Thank know you. how the heart takes, Lord. I know the pain of the Father. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, sometimes, Lord, people would mock and discourage and say, why you look so sad? Why you look so dismayed? But, oh God, there is a cause, dear God, where your heart has sad at times but jesus we know one day lord you will wipe away their tears you yes. will give joy and gladness to their hearts lord yes. because you are a god we give it thanks lord Thank we you. could not pray lord if i was at work but oh god and might you yes. give me a house loving god we could <laughs> cry to you tonight jesus you Jesus, you remember Elder Grant, loving God today, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, I feel the stress. I feel oh. the terror, Lord. Oh, I feel the pain, the Father. Knock her in the room, Lord. Knock her in the room. Lord. And I could not <laughs> wait to come home to pray. Hallelujah. Pray Lord, time. God in the highest. Hallelujah. And Father God, I am not have time, loving God, to pick you up nothing. Jesus. Because when it's in trouble, Lord, loving mm. God, it's in my heart, Lord. Lord, and it doesn't matter what you have to do, we're Lord, praying. but there is a cause there, Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, I cry before you, oh, loving God, God, I call, Lord, oh, God. when I was related cousin Debbie, when we heard that, Lord Jesus, that she was diagnosed of cancer, your you. heavenly Father, glory to God, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord, in the intercession prayer that I thought I was dying. Oh, God, because I pray, Lord, and I cried to you, Lord, till I did not have any strength. And we as the family of the McDonald, we get together and we cry before you, Lord, and we extend nine years loving God because we prayed and the church prayed, Lord. And so tonight, Jesus, I put Joel Grant before you again you will grant before you yes, in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus glory to God in the highest Lord Jesus my heart is sad Lord God I'm, not, I'm troubled glory to God but Lord you said ask and it shall be given he said seek and it shall find hallelujah and the woman of the issue of blood, when she spent all that she has, she has nothing. I said she has nothing. But when she heard about the man Christ Jesus, she was something about the name Jesus. The Lord testify of Jesus. The Lord testify of Jesus. The Lord testify my Jesus. beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. We're not, we're praying. In whom I am well pleased. Yes, the Son Lord. of the living God. And so tonight, Jesus, I am asking you. I miss yeah. you. Yeah. I implore you, Lord, to explain <laughs> time. to dry up the issue. Yeah. Go around the issue, Lord. Dry up the condition. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Because there's a bomb in Gilead. Oh, there's a Lord. bomb in Gilead. Glory yeah. to God. And I pray in the name of Jesus, yeah. Lord, that tonight, Tuesday, it will be not just a one Tuesday, but yeah. God, I ask you, to touch our hearts as brethren, yes. touch our mind, eternal God. But Lord, we get together in our tent. We will yes. get together, oh God, in spirit, Lord, and put, yes. oh God Almighty, Jesse, before you in the name of yes. Jesus. Yes. And in the name of yes. Jesus, glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, we cry to you, Lord. There's a need, Lord. There's a cause, Lord. And Lord, my heart is sad. Loving God, Lord. What upon another, Lord? Oh, God, what Father. We know that you are our comforter. You are yes. a comfort to our leaders, Lord. You will comfort their hearts, Lord. You will never leave them, never forsake them, Jesus. Never. 
So therefore tonight, Lord, I commit the grants from it before you. I commit the frantic from it before you. Children, Lord. Lord. In the name of Jesus. Remember Lord, children, God, Lord. A busy times, Lord. A busy worrying times, Lord. Oh, oh God, Lord. a busy, oh God, emergency time, Lord. This is in the night time, oh, Lord. Lord. For us to sit ourselves, Lord, to watch oh, the latest soap. This is not the time of any father who, who is in which of a color. This is not the time of any father no. who oh God could pray more. This is not the time of any father. How long does this one serve? But mm -hmm. this is the cause of any father because there's a need. Hallelujah. Need. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. God is not it's your will that any man should perish, but mm -hmm. but heart would come to repentance. But God Almighty, you said, Lord, that we must bring our records before you. We must tell you just as so it is, Lord. Because when Jer oh God, when Jericho daughter was sick, loving mm. God, he did not prick up nothing. No. Loving God Almighty, but God, he bowed before you. Loving God, and he said, my daughter is sick. Oh God, I point to death. And he mm. said, come now, Jesus. He said, come now, Jesus. And I talk to Jesus. Come now, give me half of our brother, son, Lord. Oh, Lord. My oh, son and heavenly father, I'm Jesus. asking you, Jesus. I beseech you, Jesus. Oh, oh God Lord. Almighty, remember him. I pray thee. And oh. all this simple father, that God, you can dry up, God, you dry up the Red Sea. Right. Oh, God Almighty, you can dry up every condition right. in the name right. of Jesus. Loving God, Lord. Sometimes we watch time. Loving Jesus. God, Lord Jesus. But mm -hmm. time belongs to you, Jesus. Yes. We time time ourselves. Oh. I and mean, we listen to God. Oh. But if you give God, there's no limitation. Because oh. he's oh. dragon, Lord. He have any time. So God, where every oh. best you can find in you, the heavenly Father. But okay. God, because you know this time is short. So therefore, we are be asking you to help us to stand up ourselves. Yes, put on Lord. our shoes. Draw out <laughs> the sword, Loving God and watch for one another. And yeah. that's what Nehemiah said. Oh God, they did not take off their clothes. Oh God, they watched the breaking of day because Samaka reaps, Lord, and to buy a Lord Jesus. Draw, but God Almighty, I thank you that the thank Holy Ghost was Nehemiah. Oh God, Amen. set a watchman. Glory Jesus. to God. We need a watchman for our brethren. We need Jesus. a watchman Amen. in the breaking of nights uh, until Amen. the breaking of day, dear God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And Father, we thank you, dear Jesus. Though heaven, the Father, Lord, may crucify us. Loving God, they cannot stop our tongue. Loving no. God, because they nail you on the cross. They nail your foot on the cross Thank and then nail your hands on the cross and nail your mouth and you <laughs> put it in the Father to Jesus and you pray to Jesus and you pray to Jesus and you pray to Jesus and Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost Holy Ghost, Hallelujah let the Jesus come James Lord we pray to our prayer loving God we're not going to the wedding loving God we're not going to any party loving God and says that Lord God Almighty when Lord Jesus amen want to take over the land and to kill off all the Hebrews glory mm. to God mm -hmm. said that Mordecai cry and he yeah. took up on himself oh that you. the gates and when es on oh God Almighty when Esther saw send out garments he said mm -hmm. Elma Esther even though you're in the palace do not think mm -hmm. that you're Dave, because you are one of us, you mm -hmm. are a true, and we are the gospel outreach minister, and we come to yeah. let I said we come tonight, Jesus, because the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. shed the blood for us. I said the blood of Jesus mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. from us, and so to Jesus, we ask you, Lord. I said we ask you, Jesus, in respect mm -hmm. that Lord, remember the families of the grants. Mm -hmm. I remember the family of the, oh God Almighty Lord Jesus, of yes. Lord Jesus, Brother Patrick and Sister Charmaine. Yes. Lord, yes. Lord, we are ladies going from house to house. Yes. Oh God, let it be okay and invaded. Yes. But in the yes. name of Jesus, go yes. back to sender. Go back to sender. Go back in the Red Sea. 
Go Jesus. back to Egypt. Go back to Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, for Lord. You promise that we'll never leave them. Neither will you forsake them, Lord. And so tonight, Jesus, as I pour out my heart before you, loving God, I ask you, Jesus, to remember the grants. Remember them, I pray thee. I'm asking to touch Jesse from the crown of his head. Oh, hallelujah. To the crown, oh God, of his feet, Jesus. So Jesus, it belongs to you, Lord. As it belongs to you, Jesus. And God is saying, when we come together, I said, things have to happen. Miracles have to happen. He says, who shall agree concerning yes. anything? Yes. Oh, oh, in yes. Jesus' name, I said, things have yes. to happen. Yes. Glory yes. to God. I said, yes. things yes. have to happen. Oh, yes. God, Almighty yes. Lord yes. Jesus, my yes. Lord. Yes. Oh, God, he said, come, let us uh, come, yes. let yes. us be plural. You know, I said, I am going to do it, which is singular. But he yes. said, come, let us uh, that yes. the yes. God, together we stand, but divided we fall. And yes. therefore, tonight, Lord, yes. We cry before you, choose the night. We mm. cry before you, Lord. We mm. cry before you. And we put, oh God, Jesse, before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I said, in the name of Jesus, I, I believe you, Lord. And that's why the novelex, when I come to you, come with assurance, mm. come believing that you is the only wise God that can save. You say the only wise God can hear. Mm. Blessed be God, because when the one, oh God Almighty, this young man, Lord, at the beauty gate full, desire, dear God Almighty, to be delivered. Loving God, and when he hear, oh God, about the tumor that was passing by, the Bible said he inquired, and when he heard about the man Christ Jesus, the Bible said he opened his mouth, and he cried before you, and he said, Jesus, the son of David, he said, have mercy upon me, loving God is cry reach your ears. It was a true cry because he need deliverance. And even when they say hush, because Lord, sometimes loving God, the adversary want to hush us. They want to buy us down. But oh God Almighty, you give me a mouth to cry before you, Lord. There's a matter of this him, this is a matter, dear God, because Lord, they call you the best about, they call you the fornicator, they call you the all different names, but he did not stop you. Oh God, you know the cause why you was here. And so tonight, Jesus, we know that there is a cause. We say there is a cause. There is trouble. There is concern. Mm -hmm. Loving God and Father, I pray, dear God, that Lord, that you will remember this young man. Remember his name, dear God. Call him, dear God, by name. You say, call and he's open to knock. I am knocking Jesus. I said, I am knocking, Lord. I will knock till the break of day. Oh, blessed be God. Did the Bible said, Lord, even when they be caught into adultery, loving God and conceive of a son. And the Bible said, Lord, oh God, I might come his life into your hands but lord destruct the child life but david prayed and he mm -hmm. prayed devoutly father because you know life belongs to you lord and so dear father we have to pray and we have to trust in you loving god we have to ask you we have to knock dear god we have to cry before you we have to try our best to hold on to you we have to try to seek you we have to try to camp up on the jupiter tree yeah. loving god lord we have to try in our different ways lord blessed be god and tonight father in behalf of my son joel loving god it could be of my son lord i'm asking you jesus your loving hands your comforting hands your hands of any father that break the bread and you offer it up to god and mm -hmm. you bless it and you multiply it and thousand was fed you is the same god that can reach jesse joel right now lord you is the same deliver God. You're the bread that come down from heaven. You said, if we eat of this bread, loving God, we shall surely live. 
life and the bread that will give it is your life. Father God, you give us life, Lord. I say you give us life, Lord. But oh God, I make you breathe, oh God, into Adam and Adam become the bread of life. Loving God, and because he's sin, Lord, you send your spiritual son, oh God, the heavenly Jesus, the mighty Jesus. I said the mighty warrior, the mighty warrior we are called upon tonight. I said the mighty warrior, Lord, tonight, dear Father, oh God, this intercession prayer, oh God, I make it for your servant, son, loving God. It did be heard in the Bible what it said, that the centurion, Lord, he had a servant. He was sick, Lord. He realized how good he was, Lord. He was good, Lord. And he sent out messenger, Lord, to beseech you, Lord, to save his servant, loving God, Lord. And Father, you heard, Lord, in behalf of the grant. Oh God, Pastor, Sister Shirley, we ask you tonight, Lord, oh God, we comfort their hearts. You will touch this young man, Lord. That's Touch his body, Lord. Lord. Touch his body, Lord, in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed be God. Father God, I love you tonight. And I give you thanks tonight, Lord. The Bible my woman, Lord. The Bible said, even when Elisha, loving God, passing by your house day by and day by, Lord. The Bible said, Jesus, because there's a need, Lord. My heart is troubled, Lord. My spirit, Heavenly Father, is sad. Loving God, Lord. And the Bible says, she discerned that Elisha was a man of God. And what she did, Lord, she went to her husband. He said, two shall agree, Lord. And he oh, brought up them together and they build a little altar for the man of God, Lord. You see, Lord, we have to build a altar for you, Jesus, that when it's trouble, Lord, we can go back to that altar and say, Lord, did you promise that, Lord? Did you say that, Lord? And Jesus in heaven, Lord, oh God Almighty, the Bible said, oh God, Elisha inquiry, concerned about the Shunammite woman that she did not have a child loving God Lord and Lord Jesus Gaza said no she does not have a child and the Bible said that Elisha said at this set time as what he said unto Abram said at this set time that Sarah shall conceive and bring forth a son and the son shall call Isaac Isaac Isaac, we call upon you tonight, Lord, that God Almighty, that when she bring forth this son, loving God, Lord, and she carry this son, Lord, but the Bible said that the child, Lord, oh God, went to the field with his dad, head begin to hurt, loving God, the child was taken home, the mm -hmm. child died in the parents' lap. But oh God, there's a bomb in Gilead. I said, there's a bomb in Gilead. And what the Shunammite woman did, Lord, loving God, Lord, she did not put into her room. Oh, hallelujah. I said, she did not put the child into her room, but she put it in the man of God room. What Glory to room? God. Because Lord, when we put every condition into in your hand, room. loving God, Lord, you will hear from heaven. And because you have enough it. Hallelujah. Because you know, Lord, that a husband cannot give life. Life come from Elisha and life from Elisha is from the Lord. And she put the son into Elisha's room and she saddled her horse. Glory to God. And she went forth. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that when Gaza met her, loving God, she said, all is well. I said, all is well, because she know that our Redeemer, I said, our Redeemer live it. And I want to thank you, Lord, that God, when she get hold of Elisha, glory to God, even though it was hidden, but Elisha came down from come, come Mount Carmel, and she went into her house, and the Bible says that Elisha lay upon the child, <laughs> lay upon the child, and yes, the sir. child, Lord, she yes, lived, and the child become a living soul. So therefore tonight, Jesus, I put Jesse, oh God, into Lord Jesus, yes, Elisha's hand. I put Jesse, oh yes. God Almighty, into your hands tonight, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we ask you, we beseech you, Jesus. 
We beseech you, Lord. We do not want, Lord, another sorrowful at this time, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we understand, Lord, that life belongs to you, Lord. We understand, Jesus, that souls belongs to you, Lord. For tonight, Jesus, we cry before you. We implore you, Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All you our are children, risen, Lord. Lord. I say you are risen, Lord. Yes. And Lord God Almighty, we are trimming our lamp, Lord, because mm -hmm. we realize the breaking of day. In the name of Jesus, these mercies, Lord. These mercies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These mercies. Yes, Lord. I beseech you, Jesus. Have mercy, you, Jesus. I ask you, Jesus, have mercy. I said, have mercy, Lord. That's why, Lord, they cry before you. They said, have mercy. They hold on to your skirts. They bow before you. They said, have mercy. So we say, have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we commit all things into your hands. Hallelujah. And we give you thanks. We give you thanks, Lord. Thank you, And Lord. we praise you. you. Hallelujah. We praise in you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless, Hallelujah. The room, Bless, the Hallelujah. Room. Bless the prayer room, Lord. Bless the prayer room. Hallelujah. Bless the one who just Hallelujah. prayed, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the people Thank tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. We're in the prayer room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless. Bless the house of prayer, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We won't pray for the prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Glory. Sister Nablet, for that intercessory prayer. Intercessory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. At this time, um, I just want to hand back to um, our sister Sandra. Praise, Praise God. The Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Blessed Thank be God. You. We give you praise, Lord. Give Amen. You praise. Hallelujah. Glory, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise Thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This is necessary. Praise God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Necessary. Praise yeah. God. And in every prayer that we heard, tonight it was necessary praise god amen, amen. because sister mother dolly thank you for leading a wonderful anointed prayer meeting this amen. evening the people is going from home to home in gospel outreach ministry right now i can only speak for my home i can only speak for my home and this is necessary this is you know you might if you feel weary don't feel weary. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Brother Lira asked, um, we're supposed to be having a minister's meeting. And one of the things he's asked for is for us to do this one day, all night. Praise God. It's necessary. And I yes. felt, praise God, I thank Deacon Wallace for opening our prayer meeting. Mm. Brother Earl, for the prayer for the church. Hmm. Thank Sister Dolores for a prayer for the salvation of our loved ones. And then Sister Navlet, the prayer for the elders of the Gospel Outreach Ministry and the Brethren. Part of her prayer, she stated that in her prayer, she didn't have time to pretty up the prayer. 
<laughs> Praise God. That's what was she said it twice in a <sighs> I haven't got time to pretty up the prayer. And she wasn't that. prettying it up. No, sir. D's and D's and H's weren't no, an issue. No, it was the intercession that was necessary. Yeah. Amen. And as Thank Mother you. Dolly raised the scripture, Luke chapter 13, verse 13, and he laid his hand on her. Brethren, oh, he yeah. laid his hand on Thank me. And immediately she was made straight. Great. And what did she do? She didn't pretty up her words. She glorified God. Thank, God. Thank you. Lord. Praise God. When Thank right you. now our minds might be bent in two. I talked to my sister Shirley and I talked to Brother Earl and I talked to Brother Patrick and I talked to Sister Charmaine. Every one of us right now, we're, we're tarrying for Brother David. Bent Thank in you. two, brethren. 18 yeah. years bent. And you know, you can imagine, you know, you when you see somebody, their head is at their knees. Um, Praise God. And he touched her. Praise yes. God. Oh, thank you, Lord. He me. I was bent. All of us here today was in two. I was crooked. Praise God. Oh, Couldn't yeah. look up brethren amen. Couldn't look amen. up amen and praise God. We're amen. here to glorify God amen. for the amen. breath. He has allowed us. He has allowed. He has allowed us to have wife, but for right now in this space to glorify Amen. our Father, which is in heaven. God bless you, brethren. God bless you too. God bless you. God, God bless you. you. This is time well spent. Prayer time. Well spent. Praise God. God bless you. This time I'm going to ask this to Shirley. God bless you. Praise God. I'm going to ask this to Shirley. Praise God too. Over my house, Lord. Praise God. Any to just give any announcements and any words. That God bless you, to... brethren. God, so, bless you, God, bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The God bless you, brethren. The Sunday school lesson on Sunday, the fifth of June, is why the Holy Spirit came. The scripture is taken from St. John chapter 14, verse 15 through to 18, Acts chapter 2, verse 1 through 4. The golden text is St. John chapter 15 and verse 26. And just pray that Brother Earl will be ministering on Sunday. Also, past Brother David's father's funeral, I believe is are going to be on the 6th, at the 8th, sorry, of June. The 8th of June and more, with Ten, more details to follow. Early. 10, sorry, 10th of June, with more details to follow. God bless you, brethren. Let's, God bless you. We've been put on the, the gospel outreach ministry. Mother Dolly, um, would you pronounce the benediction for us? Praise God, brethren. Praise, keep praying one for another. Mother Dolly. Okay, praise God. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the comforter, rest, remain and abide Bye. with you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you, brethren. Um, God bless you. Uh, I'll be sending out a message to the elders to this evening for tomorrow's meeting, Brother Earl. Yeah. Yes. God bless, God bless you. you. God bless God bless you, brethren. Bless you, everyone. God bless you. Bless you, brethren. Bless you, everyone. God bless you, brethren. Bless you, brethren. Have a good night. Bless you, everyone. God bless you. Good night. Bless you, everyone. Have a good night. Bless you, everyone. Bless you, Pastor Cheryl. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, brethren. Bye. Bless you. Good night. Good night, Brother Pat. Good night, brethren. Good night. Nice, Sister Sandra. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Four, three, two, two. one. Good night.